The truth about microplastics in your drinking water. Have you ever thought about what's really in your drinking water? You might be surprised to learn that tiny, invisible, little, tiny plastic particles, which are called microplastics, are making their way into what you drink every day. You can't see them, but that doesn't mean they aren't there. In this video, we'll break down what microplastics are, why they matter, and how you can protect yourself. What exactly are microplastics? Microplastics are tiny plastic particles, typically smaller than five millimeters, that are either intentionally manufactured at that size or result from the breakdown of larger plastics over time. Where do they come from? Well, they come from a variety of sources. Synthetic fibers from clothes shed during washing, plastic packaging breakdown in the environment, cosmetics and personal care products that once contained microbeads, car tires wearing down on the road, releasing particles into the waterways. How do they end up in our drinking water? Most people assume their water's clean, but microplastics do make their way into our drinking water. They make it multiple ways, like surface runoff from rain, washing plastic debris into lakes and rivers, municipal water systems that can't always filter it out, and then of course bottled water, which isn't necessarily safer. Some studies show it contains even more microplastics than are in tap water. Just because we don't see microplastics doesn't mean they aren't there. They're invisible to the naked eye, they still make their way into our bodies every single day. So now the question is, are microplastics dangerous to our health? Are scientists concerned about microplastics in our drinking water? Yes, everyone's concerned about microplastics in our drinking water. While research is still ongoing, studies have found microplastics in human organs, bloodstreams, and even placentas. Scientists are increasingly concerned about their long-term effects. What happens when we ingest microplastics? Well, once they're consumed, microplastics travel through the digestive system and can be absorbed in the bloodstream. They may even carry harmful chemicals like BPA, which are known endocrine disruptors. Over time, they can accumulate in tissues, potentially leading to inflammation and cellular damage. What are the possible health risks? Uh, although impact isn't fully known yet, the early research suggests that microplastics may be linked to hormonal imbalances from plastic chemicals mimicking natural hormones, or maybe gut health issues as microplastics may interfere with beneficial bacteria. And they also have potential risk of organ function if particles build up in the body. The long-term effects aren't well studied, but they're being studied now. Limiting exposure to microplastics, of course, is the safest way forward. How can we remove microplastics from our drinking water? Can a regular water filter remove microplastics? Most standard watered filters, like activated carbon pitchers, something that you might see in a Brita filter or that goes through your refrigerator, aren't designed to catch microplastics. But certain filtration technologies can help. What are the best options? If you want to ensure your water is as free from microplastics as possible, you really should consider a reverse osmosis system. A reverse osmosis system system like this is a multi-stage filtration system that will remove harmful chemicals like chlorine, and lead, and things like that, but ultimately will also remove microplastics. A reverse osmosis unit like this will typically only have one tap that's next to your sink. Here at the Water eStore, we sell a lot of these reverse osmosis units, and it really does give our customers peace of mind. If you're interested in learning more about reverse osmosis units, please check out our link above. Reverse osmosis systems can filter out particles as small is 0.0001 microns, which includes microplastics. Another method that also removes microplastics is something like distilling. Although it's not convenient, it is a possible solution. Does bottled water protect you from microplastics? Not necessarily. In fact, studies show that bottled water can contain even more microplastics than tap water. The plastic bottle itself sheds tiny particles into the water over time, especially when exposed to heat or stored for long periods of time. That's why we typically don't recommend people just buy bottled water instead of getting an in-house system when their local water supply or source isn't that great. If you want to take control of your water quality, avoiding plastic completely is nearly impossible. But what you can control is your water. If you're concerned about microplastics, I really would say the first step is to get a reverse osmosis system like the one I showed earlier in this video. Microplastics are difficult to test for, and honestly, most tests show that there are microplastics in the water. So we just kind of assume they're in there which is why a reverse osmosis system is the best way to take them out. If you'd like to see reverse osmosis systems that we sell, please check out our website, wateresteor.com or wateresteor.ca in Canada, and I'll put a link in the description below.